Love the Mazda CX-90, but three rows is a little bit too much space for you. Boy, have I got the crossover for you. Welcome to the all new 2025 Mazda CX-70. We're here in gorgeous Encino, California. Let's take a look. Now, a lot of the official details and numbers surrounding the CX-70 are not quite official yet, and they're still working it out, but the best way to think of the new CX-70 is more or less a two row version of the larger CX-90. Now, when I say larger, that's not really the case. From what I've heard from Mazda, the ostensibly smaller CX-70 is actually almost identical in size to the larger three-row CX-90. Where we really see the majority of the differences between the 70 and 90 are in a few stylistic touches, including blacked out exterior trim on certain models. Uh, we've got new grille insert, new portions of the lower front bumper. Essentially, a lot of the front fascia is revised for the CX-70. Complementing this new glossy exterior black trim is also a set of glossy black wheels for the CX-70. It's a bespoke design for the new car. At launch, there's going to be a choice of two powertrains for the CX-70. This one, as you can probably tell, is the plug-in hybrid version with the 2.5 liter natural aspirated four-cylinder that we've seen in many other Mazda products. In this case, it's augmented by an electric motor powered by a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery. On a full charge, Mazda expects 26 miles of pure electric range. Pick the hybrid and you'll have 323 combined horsepower and 369 combined pound-feet of torque. And if the plug-in's not for you, the standard choice of engine is the 3.3 liter turbocharged inline six cylinder that we've seen on the CX-90. And again, no details are official yet, but we can expect there to be two levels of power available with this inline six. You've got the base spec, which has 280 horsepower and 332 pound feet. And then you've got the hotter Turbo S variant of the 3.3 liter, which gets you 340 horsepower and 369 pound feet. And that's on premium fuel. Regardless of powertrain, all CX-70s come with the familiar eight-speed automatic transmission and standard all-wheel drive. Whereas the plug-in is a plug-in, the standard six-cylinder, no matter which power level that you choose, will be a mild hybrid system, just like we saw in the CX-90. And depending on how you outfit your CX-70, you can tow potentially up to 5,000 pounds, which is pretty great. One of the biggest differences between the plug-in and the standard gas model, though it's not really much of a major difference, is there is a slightly different grill insert compared to the plug-in. From what we've heard, this is due to the necessity of increased airflow for the larger engine. Hey Alexa, what's the weather like today? Right now in Encino, it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds with a high of 64 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. And for the first time in Mazda vehicles, we have Alexa integration for the infotainment. In terms of other interior details, not much is different from the CX-90. That means a lot of the interior appointments are the familiar upmarket premium touches that we love so much on the CX-90. Now this is not intended to be a luxury vehicle. It doesn't really play in that segment or price point, but at this level of trim, it is quite an upscale interior. Aside from the available Nappa leather, little touches like stitching, texture trim, and metallic finishes aesthetically push the CX-70 towards the top of the segment. At this level of trim, there's tons of comfort equipment, including a full suite of heated and cooled seats, split climate control, and USB charge ports. Even rear passengers are pampered with the rear center console featuring functions for heated seats, individual climate control, and two USB-C charge ports. Without that third row, the CX-70 offers comparable rear storage to a CX-90 with the third row folded flat. Now, I can't wait to get behind the wheel of the all-new 2025 Mazda CX-70, but until then, you can read my full thoughts on cars.com. For more expert reviews, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.